This is the sonic boom alarm clock. It literally shakes your bed to wake you up. This is what my mom used to use to try to wake me up, but it obviously didn't work because I was still always late to school. And since at 22 years old, I still have that problem, I need something more. I do wake up, there's still four main distractions that keep me in bed. I go on my phone, it's too comfy, I'm too tired, and it's too quiet. But what if there was a way I can stop these distractions by making mechanisms that start automatically? But to do this, I'm gonna need to use this dude, Rube Goldberg. Not literally him, because he unfortunately died in 1970, but I'm gonna use the method that he invented. The Rube Goldberg method! This is basically a chain reaction. For example, these dominoes will hit over this water bottle and make this energy drink automatically spill over into my mouth. But in order to set this all up, we need some materials. time to build this thing. The first distraction we need to eliminate is my phone. This is the number one reason why I stay in bed. To do this, I want to have this Hot Wheels truck going from my table to this lockbox with my phone duct taped onto the Hot Wheels truck to walk it away. Does that work? That's perfect. Okay, we just have to figure out how we're going to close this box now. This is kind of what I'm thinking. I'm thinking I add some string, right? And then when the truck hits the string, it pulls it and the lid closes. Three, two, one. Okay, it didn't work. My new method was lightly taping a string to the top. Oh yeah, okay. This is gonna work. But yeah, no, that, that didn't work either. But let's say there was weight on it. Like my phone. Three, two, one. Okay, we encountered some new problems. But maybe all it needs is some duct tape. <laughs> this might sound crazy, but hear me out. When the lockbox closes, that's gonna send a domino flying off this thing. Ah, boom! Hitting more dominoes going up these steps, hitting this water bottle that will be attached to a string going to the roof. And the water bottle is gonna fall over and it's gonna pull the string that's gonna end up pulling an energy drink to fall on its side, spilling into my mouth. If I can pull this off, this is going to be absolutely crazy. And my goal here is if I can make the energy drink fall and spill into my mouth, then I can't be tired. I'd get rid of tired this. God, that was so difficult. Okay, I got some things like some magazines, a notebook, my uh, high school diploma that I almost didn't get. So now it's time to build these stairs. After setting up the stairs and a long time of setting up dominoes, like a long time, and then falling over, like a lot of times, I realized a crucial error. Honestly, I'm not super mad because a lot of these surfaces aren't super flat, so they can't hang on it. So I have to redo it anyways, I have to rebuild this. I'm finally done setting up the dominoes on the top, but I am now just realizing I don't know if the dominoes can knock off this bottle. Okay, it is time to test this out. Hopefully this works. Ready, set, boom. Okay. Okay. Okay, with only a couple minor issues, it works. I'm just surprised that the water bottle actually fell off. So now it's time to tackle maybe the hardest part, which is gonna be to get an energy drink above my head somehow in bed and it to flip over by a string connected to that water bottle. It is here, I made this. So my thought is that this is gonna stand kind of like this, right, while I'm sleeping. And then the can's on here. 
Okay, you following me? And the string is connected under here, pulls the can, bam, falls, and now we just have to connect it all. Yep, you may have guessed it, I messed up again. The string was too thick to easily pull through the nail things with holes, th these things. But with some thinner string and a few walls for support, I was feeling confident. Yes! The only thing left to do for this section is to try it all together. But during multiple attempts, it showed a lot more errors. I know, surprising. But after it was all fixed, it was game time. Three, two, one. Oh. No! Let's say that did work. Boom! There's obviously a few more little problems to deal with, but overall, it works. And that is what I'm excited about. But I still have to figure out how I'm gonna do everything else. So I think that is good for today. Today, we are finishing this. Couple updates first. Remember how this truck doesn't fit on the track? Well, I got two Teslas instead now. The other update is I figured out how I'm gonna get rid of being too comfy. I'm gonna have a water balloon hanging above my head and I just figured out how I'm gonna pop it. So what I'm thinking is that when this can falls, this ball is gonna be released, right? And goes down this track, getting us over here. So since this track is gonna be essentially above my bed, I needed to hang it. So when I'm sleeping, I don't ruin it. To do this, I used what this whole project uses, duct tape, some cardboard, and some string. And after adding a hoop for the ball, it was perfect. Okay, so now that we got over here, this is what's gonna happen. The ball's gonna come, go through the hoop, right? I'm gonna have these kind of going up like this, right? Because what I saw is that they used marbles as a chain reaction to actually get up something. Yep, you guessed it. Some more duct tape, cardboard, throw in some jacks, these tube things, and some marbles, and it's complete. You have to subscribe if this works. Boom, 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 boom! So the next order of business is to get something to drop on this to make it slice. And this is over here. So we just made the marbles that's gonna go up and the marble will release this ball on this track, hitting this off the top. Now the only issue is how do we get this marble to make this ball go down the track? I'm gonna figure out one other thing first because it's kind of gonna be the same concept. What I've been trying to figure out is how to make this ball stay still here and then release after the can falls over. And I think I figured it out. I found this little piece around the house. I have no clue what this is, but thank God I found it. So that goes there and holds the ball. So I'm gonna drop the water bottle. Boom. So the reason why I figured that out first is because I think I'm gonna kind of use the same concept as in having something up here holding it. And I just so happened to figure out the perfect thing, a little basket. And like always, it took a couple of attempts but yet, like always, we prevail. Yes! Nice! Okay, so we're all caught up to this point where the basketball hits the marbles, that releases this ball, hitting this off. The next reason for staying in bed that we have to eliminate is being too comfy. And to do this, we're gonna hang a water balloon above my head. I set up the water balloon on these hooks. And these hooks better be good because there's literally gonna be tacks that fly right past me while I'm sleeping. I mean, that seems pretty good. Now it's time to figure out how I'm gonna actually pop this balloon. I first started with this contraption. Just a few tacks glued together. But that didn't work, so I decided to go more extreme and ended up with this whatever this is. But of course, I had to test it. Oh! Without water. So with the balloon popping death trap machine working perfectly fine, it's time to tackle the last reason that I would want to stay in bed, which is it's too quiet. And to fix that, we're using this bad boy. It's a record player. To make this record player start automatically, I set up this track with the target truck on top of it, and this will hit this little swivel thing that will flip the switch. But how do we make the truck go? Easy. We set up some string. Everything is completely finished now. Completely armed. We're ready to go. Oh! 
Oh. <laughs> the second marvel didn't go. The third one. The third one didn't go. Dang, dude. And after more and more attempts, it still wasn't working. Dude, why? You know, I'm bummed that it's not working, but I'm also not mad because I do need to work out all these problems because I want to be able to have this. I want to work out all the problems, if, if I haven't said that. But because I want it to be able to work when I wake up, like when I actually wake up. So we go on to yet another day of still making this thing. But I think the payoff is gonna be completely worth it. Well, 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 some more updates. It's like day five or day six or something. This morning, I woke up to it being a complete disaster. So much of this is completely wrecked, but today is all about upgrades. Because I feel like if I upgrade it all, it's guaranteed to work because we need to eliminate as much air as we can. It's time for the scariest part, testing it. <laughs> so it's all set up, it is all armed. This is just a test run. There's no water in this balloon also, um, but there will be in the actual one when I naturally wake up to it tomorrow morning. I give you the official test run of my new alarm clock. Dominoes work, boom, give me some Celsius. There goes the basketball. Marbles work. That drops. That gets sliced. The balloon gets plugged. And the music starts. The very last thing to do with this is to naturally wake up to it. I wanna actually wake up to this thing. There's just a couple things that's scary about that. One, during the nighttime, the cats can make this thing start. And that would suck because there's gonna be a water balloon hanging up above our head the whole night. What's another issue that might occur? Oh, I might wake up in the morning and it might not work. But we're gonna keep trying every single day until one morning, it finally works. <laughs> While setting everything up for hopefully the last time, everything started to hit me. In the beginning, I thought this was gonna be super easy but I quickly found out that was not going to be the case. Every time I picked up a domino to set it back up or reset the marbles, I smiled. I learned that this wasn't just about finishing another project. It was about thinking differently and trying over and over and over again until it finally all worked together. But now it's time to just cross my fingers and go to bed. It worked. <laughs> Wait, what did I say? I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> to click the video. Click it. Nice. 